So there are a few things in this build that are kind of enjoyable to do and not, you don't really get a sweat worked up so much. And electrical is one of those, those items. It's 90, probably it's in the 90s today and it's, it's hot and humid. So it's a perfect day to do wiring in my opinion. And uh, you don't get much easier than wiring up plugs. So I'm just kind of going around and getting all the plugs uh, wired up in preparation for drywall. The final inspection, he wants to see all, all switches and plugs and lights uh, in and all the covers on. You can't have any exposed wiring uh, for the final or you'll fail the inspection. So we're just kind of going around, taking our time, enjoying the process and, and getting the, uh, the wiring done. So it's been uh, a good way to beat the heat, in my opinion. And uh, I had a shorts video that showed uh, the crimping tool that I've used to connect my wires. I'm not using any wire caps per se. Uh, I'm, I'm crimping all my wires and man, it is a, a nice, uh, easy thing to do. Uh, and it's such a strong connection uh, using the crimper. Uh, the tool's kind of expensive like anything, but uh, in my opinion, it's one of those things that's, that's worth it. Uh, but this has been a, an enjoyable process and it's nice to be able to sit down and do something for once. So white wires go to the silver screws, black wires go to the gold screws. And there's really not much more to that. Ground goes to the green. These plugs, uh, these are 20 amp circuits. So the plugs are 20 amp plugs. Number 12 wire was used and you can tell it's a 20 amp plug because it has the little, I don't know if you can see that, the little notch out on the side. Um, it says 20 amps on the plug as well. So you can read and see it. But pretty, pretty easy process. This building doesn't have any three-way or four-way switching in it. It's just a plain Jane deal. Uh, the house would be a little bit different story. We've, we've kind of worked our way up the complexity uh, pyramid, I guess, when it comes to wiring. I need to snip the end of this off. Just a little bit too long. But again, uh, this is something you're not comfortable with uh, because it is very important that you do this correctly. Uh, there's been a lot of people that have homes that were burnt down because of faulty wiring. So if you're not comfortable with it, just have hire this, this part of it out. Um, I've done a lot of home remodeling stuff and I feel pretty comfortable doing the wiring uh, myself, so. The other key to, to this wiring is making sure you get junction boxes that are deep enough to make things uh, easy on yourself. Anywhere I can get a deep box I'm going to do it just for the fact that it gives you a little extra room to work with wire. Number 12 is kind of heavy for plugs, so but it is a garage and I'm going to have power tools out here. So, and I believe code requires 20 amp circuits for the garage, so that's what I'm doing. All right, let's make this easy and go get some battery operated tools. When it comes to electrical, I don't 
all like this. I, I used the tool to, to do all the hard work, but I wanted to hand check tightness on everything. So that's it. We're just gonna rinse and repeat again, like we've the theme that's been on this whole build and just uh, finish all the plugs up the same as we did this one. Here we go. This is the finished product for my main breaker panel. We have, uh, I'll just kind of go through here what I did and full disclaimer, I'm going to have an electrician next week come in and just look things over, make sure I did it right. Uh, and then at that point we'll be ready to insulate and drywall. Uh, and I'm doing that because the final inspection, the final electrical inspection, they want everything pretty much done drywall up, all plugs and switch covers on, everything buttoned up, no exposed wires. So at that point, if I have missed something in this panel, I would have to take everything back out and it would just be a huge mess. So I'm just going to uh, give a buddy a little money to come out here, look at the panel, see what he thinks, if everything looks good, then I'm gonna go ahead and get the insulation done and get the drywall done and get this thing buttoned up. Uh, so um, today I just wanna kinda of go over with you what I've done for the breaker panel or in the breaker panel at this point. Uh, I think everything looks good. We've grounded and bonded the uh, panel. And from my understanding with code, electrical code is at the point of your first disconnect, you need to be bonded. And that is what I've done. I've put the bonding screw in on this panel. So I've hooked all my grounds and neutrals in and the box and everything has been uh, bonded and grounded. I do not have my ground rods in yet at this point, that'll come down the road. Uh, I need to put two eight foot ground rods in no more or no less than six feet apart. That will be tied into the meter base, which is on the outside. Uh, but the inside of the building, the electrical is finished. All plugs, switches, uh, everything is wired up, ready to go. Once I get the drywall hung, then we'll put the lights in and be completely finished. Outside electrically, all we had to do was just to kind of review our meter base here. We put our number four ground wire in through the knockout down dug a little trench there in the stones that runs behind the AC unit. Ground clamp, that's the first ground rod, that's a 5 8 uh, ground rod. Over seven feet away is the second ground rod. Those are eight feet long. Had to pound those in the ground. It was a rainy day, so it made made it somewhat easy with the soil being a little a little wet. They drove in just fine with a two pound hammer. So that's it for the electrical portion of the build. The next inspection will be the final electrical inspection and they're gonna come in and this is really gonna be the focus from what the inspector told me, just to make sure that everything is uh, grounded and bonded properly and to make sure the conductor size is appropriate for the uh, breaker size. So we are in uh, a good spot here. The framing is all complete. We've finished the fire blocking and actually went through and put some baffles in for the blown in insulation in the ceiling. Uh, and we'll detail that on the insulation install. Uh, I'm leaning towards blown in on the ceiling and spray foam for the walls. Uh, we're waiting on some quotes to come back for the spray foam. Uh, and if we decide to go that route, we'll detail the install on that. If not, it'll be some other kind of install. Uh, on the uh, wall insulation. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions electrically, uh, let me know. You can put them in the comments below or better yet, if you know an electrician or have a go-to person for electrical, that's good as well. Uh, I can try to look things up if, if people need pointed in a direction. Uh, but again, uh, this video is just to detail how I'm doing my electrical install. I am not a licensed electrician. So again, just take it for what it's worth and we'll let you know how we come out on our inspection and uh, how the uh, uh, electrician that I have coming in next week, what he thinks of this. And we'll just go from there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.